What's up everybody, it's Bill from High Volume Games and welcome to the finale of the Extra Life 2021 uh, series that we're doing. Uh, we've started at Saturday 8 a.m., done a couple, done a bunch of videos every couple of hours, and here we are on our final video. Uh, we are going to play one of my favorites, that's why I wanted to end up with a bang. Uh, so we are going to play Book It from Foam Hammer Games. Uh, we're specifically going to do the uh, Book It uh, solo player uh, Discord League, uh, which we've been playing on the channel uh, a couple times already. Uh, so this is round five. Not doing so well. Stuck back in 14th place right now. So we got to get going. Uh, so the rules for round five are very simple. You can be any promotion you want. You just have to uh, either you have to use two cards for uh, um, events where you're where you're going to be your venue. You have to either be at Mexico City or at San Antonio, like right across the border type thing. Uh, you got to do three shows at San Antonio and three at Mexico City. You can choose when you want to do both. Now, Mexico City has a... Uh, their bonus is Lucha Libre wrestlers get $2 star, $2 extra. Uh, and San Antonio allows you to book six wrestlers. Well, I mean, not book six wrestlers. Have six matches. So you can book as many wrestlers as you want. But you can now have six matches. You don't have to. You still have to have the five, but you could always make it six. Or you could definitely do six. Um... So we are going to get into the action. One of the interesting parts about this round is that both of these uh, venues cost $3. So normally when you're playing the game, you would like to do the uh, uh, cheaper venues first because you don't have a lot of money at the start. But especially like in San Antonio where you're going to do six matches, you're going to need a lot of wrestlers. So... Our first venue for week one is going to be, or for turn one, is going to be uh, Mexico City. Will we do Mexico City 1, 2, 3, and then go 4, 5, 6? We don't know yet. We'll see. But we'll pay the $3. We we'll start with 25 as usual. We're going to open up. And we start off with Filthy Kenny. Uh, Jacob Craven. Stones Malone, Dr. T Prodigy, Apollo Contra, Ray Enigma, Gladiator Lee, Sarah Starr, Dios Pandoso, and Body Count. Wow, that was a very good end because the start was awful. <laughs> Uh, so we're definitely going to go for Sarah Star, just for the simple fact that since we're in Mexico, her $1 is going to get us 3 So profit any way you can. Uh, next card is Will Lockdown. Okay. So we'll go with Dios Pandoso for 3 Oh, another good card for us for early is COD D'Angelo. Let's take him. Oh, just a... Sorry. I chose on um, a hybrid promotion. Uh, the reason is is a Lucha Libre doesn't have as much uh, strength or, like, they don't have a bonus for, you know, for being Lucha Libre and, uh, unless you're in a multiplayer. And I'd rather have it as... The hybrid for San Antonio, because when we do our shuffle and draws, you've seen some of my shuffles and draws where none of the cards I want are in there. Uh, we can maneuver a little better when we're in the hybrid position. All right. So we have $16 left. We got body count. We got Ray Enigma. Uh, we'll take Ray Enigma. Actually, no. Yeah, well, I, I said it. They probably should have went with body count. He would have given us our money back. 
Is there anyone I want for four dollars that could match with somebody? Uh, Grim Carver could match with Sarah Star. Uh, as far as work uh, marketability, work rate wise, I need a three. Uh, Will Lockdowns probably actually I think Will Lockdowns who we're gonna do. So we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two of our jobbers. Turn them into journeymen. We're going to take Will Lockdown. And that's going to... Uh, that's going to wipe us out. Uh, two journeymen. Here we go. You know, if Will Lockdown shows up in the because we're the hybrid promotion, if Will Lockdown shows up uh, with a yellow, we can draw any extra cards because there is going to be one extra card, and we don't. We would much rather since we got five paid wrestlers and two journeymen, we want to at least have those seven in the match. We don't want one of them sitting out. All right. So, oh, sorry. Uh, if you want, first of all, thank you for everybody who's viewed the first eight uh, videos. And if you want to uh, look up Extra Life and what we've been doing today and yesterday, uh, you can check the, the link in the description below. I'll have the link there. Thank you to everybody who's viewed. Thanks to everyone who has donated. We'll talk more about it at the end of the video. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And not a bad draw. It's, it's uh, everybody, three Lucha. Uh, three Luchas, so we'll get uh, the best combo is, I guess, because that'll be a four star. Any of those would not. So we'll go Ray Enigma and Dio Fido. So now we only get to draw two because we're a hybrid promotion. So we got a jobber and a jobber. No. Oh, everything that I didn't want to happen, happened. So we'll put Sarah Star and the jobber. We'll put the journeyman together. We'll put the jobbers together. And our draw is we'll lock down. And COD D'Angelo. We will get to keep... Oh, we don't get any. Hover is the last one. Okay. So, ah, uh, okay. Let's see what we got. So we got a plus... Well, we get no money for ticket sales on the first round because we got zero reputation. Uh, we have five and four. So that's nine here. We'll go ten... Uh, because Sarah Star is only one, this match is only one dollar. Uh, so then four here for Journeyman Journeyman. Uh, four for a COD D'Angelo and three for Will Lockdown. So that is seven. So we actually lost a bit of money here because uh, we will have. 10, 17, 19, 21 dollars. I like how I started recording things and everybody is messaging me. <laughs> so, 15, 17, 21 dollars. Uh, let's see. Now, Pandoso is a 5. No, Pandoso is a 3. Enigma is a 5, so that's a 4. Uh, Jobber and Sarah Star are one. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, I get two more dollars. My apologies. Sarah Star is not a one dollar. She's three dollars. <laughs> so there we go. <sighs> I remember why. Because I was like, why did I sign Sarah Star? Because she was three dollars. Okay. Uh, two. Uh, one star for Jobber Jobber. And now these, thankfully, are they're both three. Uh, so that will be a compatible match, so we'll get four. So we ended up with 
twelve for our first show. So even though we lost a little bit of money, not much, but we turned out a pretty decent show that's going to get us two reputation points. That's okay. Usually I try to get a reputation point on the first show, so we'll take that. Okay, so these five go back. But again, the real story about that was the shuffle did us in again. <laughs> Because, geez, we had the talent, but nope. All right, here we go with turn two. We got to give our three dollars back. We're going to stay in Mexico City. For a good cut here. All right. So first card is Erica King. Davy Dartford. Davy Dartford really wanted to be part of this. Uh, body count. Who was felt shunned in that last one? Uh, Sashimi politics. Katana. Jane Sienna. Sarah Star is back. So is Malone. The Nippon Playboy. Imagine putting. Playboy and Sarah Star together. Uh, just because they're one one ones. Fifteen. Let's put let's just put six to the side just in case. So again we'll go with Sarah Star for one. Hoping for two reasons. One again, we're not losing any money. And two, we're hoping that this next card's gonna be yellow. If not, but right, so we'll go with uh, body count for six. Toby McCoby. All right, we'll take the Depot Playboy for one. Our goal <laughs> is to get that. <laughs> All right. Kicked Gacho, not probably who I want to see at the moment. So you got to look for somebody who's going to really match well with, at the moment, body count, who's cheap. Okay, Jane Sienna. Would... Chase Hanna would match with either one, if depending. Uh, Daredevil Damon would be a good match. Well, not really, but would be okay. Uh, but we're going to go with David Artford for five. Or Kawasaki. If we... We, now, this was my problem in the last round, is I let the journeyman uh, out of it. But we know that the, we have four now. That means at least two jobbers are going to be in there. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll upgrade. That was my problem last time. It's, again, bad shuffles, bad draws, and the, the, jobbers, the two jobbers that were left... Uh, The two jobbers that were left ended up playing a lot of matches in the game. Right. Okay, four. So that's their six. We got a dollar. Okay. Her goal is to get the DuPont Playboy. Actually, no, that wouldn't even work. Uh, it was good. Oh, what a... I'm playing like a moron, but that's okay. It's for charity. <laughs> I 
just felt like I had more cards than I should have, but now I have ten. Because I know I have four matches. The good thing is, we'll get four bucks to start. And look at that. I Five grays and one... <sighs> So we'll put body count for the jobber just because at least get two stars. It's a waste of him, but you know, we gotta do journeyman jobber and then Davy Dartford's gonna take on the journeyman. And then we got our match, the Boy taking on Sarah Star. <laughs> oh lord. So four dollars comes to us from the uh the reputation will take a dollar away uh, and then put five for this one because it's three for Sarasar plus Nippon Playboy's one. Uh, four here and two here, so that's six on this line. And then two, four, and then six for body count, so that's ten. So actually, we did okay. Okay. Problem is in this league, okay is not good. <laughs> so we got 10, 20. We're going to end up actually back to 25. And let's see our stars. So Nippon Playboy and Sarah Star, this was the reason I picked them. Now we got a two star match because they were both ones, but they'll be compatible. They're two star. Davy and Journeyman go three. Uh, this is a one for job or journeyman. Uh, journeyman, journeyman is two, and so is body count and jobber. So we got two, four, six, nine, ten. That is a plus one, and we're at three. Okay. <laughs> So far, the story of the day is the shuffle. Hasn't been kind, but we'll get there. And I'm probably making huge mistakes, but that's okay. It's all fun. We're going to start with six this round. We're going to do Mexico City for our last time. Actually, let's go to, no, let's go to San Antonio. We're going to try for six, but we're going to try for cheap wrestlers. If they're Lucha, cool. Oh, wait. I almost gave San Antonio a nice tip. Let's give them three, not six. <laughs> Let's get some cheap people. It can be any promotion because we're high. We want cheap and working. We want to save Mexico City for one more time. Will Lockdown, Vile, Thunder Kitsune. I've never actually seen that card. Adam Barcelona. Oh, let's see. Here we go. We got two decently priced luchas, uh, which would have worked in Mexico City. Red Graz. I haven't seen Red Graz in a bit. Sarah Star is like, I'm just showing up every time. Shin Nakahiro, Joshi Queen, and Apollo Contra. All right, so we got $22 left. Uh, so let's go with Thunder in her first ever shot at high volume wrestling. Because I've never seen her card before. And she'll give us actually a balanced. We'll go with Sarah Star. Those two would actually match up. Marketability wise. I didn't even look to see who it Oh, it's Dr. T Prodigy. And Mary Murder. Oh, well, actually, no, these two wouldn't. Oh, yeah, no, they'll match up marketability wise. They're not going to be threes because we're not in Mexico City. Uh, but that's okay. 
Uh, let's let's go with Mary Murder because again she's gonna be she's gonna match with those two. And to get her profitable, we gotta do that. Uh, so yeah, we want six. At, we need we have six, so we need at least six, and we got three for a total of six bucks. So now let's try to get some more. Um, so let's go with Red Graz. The three. So he'll match up decently with Adam Barcelona, so we'll get Adam. For four. I only need one more. And if I could get it for three, that would be nice because then I would have enough to upgrade the jobbers and ever then we at least know we're gonna make twelve bucks from the jobbers plus the three, eighteen, and whatever our people can make. So the only one who is three on our list uh, is Vile. So we'll dig Vile. And then we'll upgrade our last time. So the journeyman come in. The jobbers are officially out. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. This could be kind of bad if it doesn't work out for us because we have uh, some ones, and if they're not together, you know, we're going to lose money. <sighs> Should start streaming this as how not to play Bucket. <laughs> That's all right. I will say this is this and the game that started our. The reason I, I said I wanted my top two favorite games of all time to uh, be the start and the end of my this series. So between this and Red, White, and Blue, I, they're my favorite games of all time. But as I proved in an uh, earlier round of uh, That's So Clever don't need to be good at the game to have fun with it. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so this is actually not bad. Um, we've got we got three of different federations. Um, so we're going to put Adam Barcelona and Rudraz together, which works really well because they match everything. And that will let us draw four cards. Okay, so two of our ones, I know we think we have three that are ones, uh, two of our ones work together, and that is going to be Sarah Star and Mary Murder, so we'll get the other two cards. And so it really does not matter, um, because we have one three and six twos, so uh, we'll put Thunder... And vile together. We'll put journey with journey with journey with journey with journey with journey with. All right. So we get six bucks to start. Count that money. We get eight here and seven here. So we'll get fifteen dollars from these two rows. And then we'll see what these other two. Uh, we're going to get two plus two uh, for marketability, so that's four. Actually, yeah. Four, and this is four plus two, six. So there we go. So we're actually going to be ahead of the game because I got 25. Uh, 25 right there, 
plus an extra six. So we are at thirty-one dollars. It took till turn three, but we are at uh, profit. <laughs> so now let's just go with these matches. We got a two, a two, a two, a two. Unfortunately, this is a one. As the one didn't even want to be part of that match. Um, and we got four. As these two are compatible threes. So that'll be a four. So we got two, four, six, eight, nine, thirteen. We're going to go up another two. So there we go. All right, so we'll take our, our journeyman, we'll move our piece up to four. We'll get our other friends back to wherever they came from, wherever it is they were. We'll pay three dollars. Um, we'll go back to Mexico City for our last time. We got some money now. Let's get some high-priced uh, Lucha Libre. Let's get Ray Enigma back. So just a heads up, since this is the final video of the event, uh, in a few weeks we're going to have an actual live stream uh, where Steve Tower, uh, AFR Steve and I will be playing a uh, couple of games together. Um, in the past, we have played uh, we have played Book It, um, but we're gonna play. We know we're for a fact we'll play some History Maker Baseball, and hopefully we'll play some more games too. So that'll be in a few weeks. Still raising money for Extra Life. We're not done just from this uh, video series. We're gonna do more. So keep tuning in to the High Volume Games channel. All right, here we go. War Kawasaki. Stones Malone. Jane Sienna. Of course, because I said we're going to Mexico City. Nobody's coming. File. Tommy Hazard. Will Lockdown. Oliver M. Grace said, really? Okay, there's Body Count. And Horror Show. So we'll take Body Count. Four six. Oh, good, good draw there with Mothman Martin, who's going to be profit for me because he's already a decent draw because he's three and costs three. But he's going to. Oh, look at this, Ray and Eggma. He comes in. Yes. <laughs> Oh, and St. Gorilla. <laughs> That's all right, though. Good start. Uh, let's go with Jane Sienna for four. This is, this is the basic thugonomics Jane Sienna, so you can see her. Uh, we'll go with War Kawasaki, and I think that's where we're going to end. Maybe we'll take a, uh, maybe we'll take a special announcement card too. Ooh. Play at the end of signing phase, which is where we're at. Until the end of your turn, your local wrestlers will receive synergy bonuses. So the local wrestlers will be marketable, compatible, and familiar. Oh, that's a card. We'll use that right now. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so we got a dollar. But we're going to... Uh, 
we'll end up with 10. And now that we know that, you know, we want the local people to face each other, this is going to have a, the makings of a good little show here. I could have saved that for the next one, the six-person one. But I want to, with two turns to go, I want to get some money, and I want to get... Uh, I want to get going here. And actually, that should mean that, you know, I can use... Yeah, because the synergy bonus... So even if I were to draw five jobbers like I do, uh, I would be able to at least pull two cards every time I put a jobber jobber team together. So that's nice. So good card there. At first I was looking for the raffle prize one, but I'll take this one. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we got four jobber, well, four, four journeymen and Mothman Martin War Kawasaki, which is not a bad card at all. We're actually going to make that our main event. Pull four cards because they're hybrid. Those two match up very well. Uh, out of this pairing, we're going to take Body Count and, and uh, Sienna. Uh, geez, I'm starting to wonder, do... Do I even want to use Ray Enigma? I mean, I could. He's not going to. At best, he's going to give a three star match. Um, but I could forego that one, keep him for the next round, and save six bucks already. <laughs> I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to go with Journeyman the rest of the way, because they're going to get the synergy bonuses, and we'll keep Ray Enigma sitting on the bench for round five. We're going crazy here in high volume games. Okay, so we got our 10 bucks. Now because, again, the, because these guys are now marketable for this round only, each one of these is $6 instead of four. Uh, body count is a six. Uh, Jane Sienna is a three, so we're going to go, we'll take one dollar back, we'll give ten. And Mothman Martin is, oh, they're not fully matched, because Mothman Martin's a five, Kawasaki's a three, so it's eight. Oh, that got me excited for a minute, but then I realized... All right, so 10, 20, 5, there's our starting, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so there we go, 46 bucks, we've made a profit, now again, these two, these three are getting Compatibility bonuses, so we'll have a three star here, a three star here, and a three star here. Body Count and Jake Sienna match up, and actually War Kawasaki and Martin and Martin do too as well. So both of these matches are going to be fours. So we're going to have eight, 11, 14, 17. We are going to be at. Uh, we're going to be plus three. Yeah, I was going to see the, the Ray Enigma move. He wasn't going to get, he might have gotten us a few dollars more, but he would not have got, there would be no change in this, in the uh, show period, the show quality. So we were going to be at 17 no matter what. So I feel keeping him for next round was actually a good move. As we're going to San Antonio where we need to find five wrestlers. We got 40 bucks though now. Uh, so who knows? So Mexico City is now off the table oh, because we can't. Our rabid fans is off the table because we used it. And here we go. Let's pay three dollars to the city of San Antonio.
So if you haven't, feel free to look up the uh, uh, go on to Foam Hammer Games, uh, check out their uh, their website. If you need more information about the game, or if you have the game and are not part of the Discord, check out them on Twitter or Facebook. Uh, join up to the Discord, and then you can join us for the next round, or even this round. Who knows? <laughs> All right, we are set to go. We paid. It is now time. We need s at least five wrestlers. All right. We got Thunder Katsuni, Dr. T Prodigy, Thomas Crowley. Vile. Shin Nakahiro. Oh, our friends in the strong style have showed up. Sashimi Politics. Nippon Playboy. Joshi Queen. Body Count. And James Sienna. Oh, we'll go with Body Count. I feel like there's five Lucha wrestlers in my stack here. It's been. <laughs> uh, we'll go with James Sienna. The thing is, again, we're now in San Antonio, so it doesn't matter about that Lucha bonus. So pick anyone who's going to get us some good matches. So again, we got Enigma, and we got uh, Body Count and Sienna. Both, they have threes. Enigma has a five. There's a really good five in Thomas Crowley. Mostly everybody's like a three or a four, so maybe sashimi politics. Essex is expensive. And we have so we have five right now. We need at least one more. We got twenty. We'll let's take a special announcement card before we really make a decision here. Hot crowd. Play during show quality. Add three to your three show quality. Oh. All right. Wait. See, Shin is expensive for someone who's not going to match with anybody. Um. I almost feel like it's. Is it feel maybe Kitsune? Because for as little as she is, she's still got a three. Uh, three work rate, which is what most of my people have. Uh, Ray Enigma shows up. We'll, we'll put Ray Enigma. We got more than the amount we need. But Terry Squall. Terry Squall actually would match up very well with uh, uh, Thunder. We'll, do, we'll get Terry Squall. And I think we'll do one more. We'll do one more card. Uh, one more special announcement card. Oh, Sarah Star just shows up, but that's okay. We're not going to pick up Sarah Star this time. Oh, sorry, that, that was a wrestler. Uh, convention weekend. Play during signing phase. Okay. So we'll, we'll keep that one just because if we don't like what the our market looks like, we can, all, we can draw, redraw 10 cards. But we're going to probably use the hot crowd. I don't know why I'm shuffling. I'm not supposed to be shuffling that deck. I'm supposed to be shuffling this deck. So we got Terry Squall, Ray Enigma, Thunder Katsuti, Sashumi Politics, Thomas Crowley, 
Rename up body count Jane Sienna. And if we don't use some of these, that's okay, because we gotta I think we have one extra, so if we don't end up using them, they will be part of the next show. We got six bucks, but we're about to get sixteen more. So we got some people who could match here. If we could just get some this unfortunately that synergy draw is over, so if I could have a bad shuffle here. Right, here comes motorcycle guy. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this is good. Um, we got a couple, we got some decent ones here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put Shishibi Politics and Body Count together because they match and they're hybrid. You know, they're, they oppose each other. One, two, three. Four. We're going to put Crowley and Sienna together to get four more. One, two, three, six. Uh, we'll put Terry Squall and Thunder Xtuni together because they match. Well, this one is not a real match, but we'll put them together. The two Ray Enigmas. We are seeing it happen here first. The Ray Enigmas are battling. I just realized that I signed two Ray Enigmas. But anyway. <laughs> but we have, they're not a real match because it's 3 5 and 5 3. Okay. All right, so we're going to take 16 bucks for our matches. We got two, four, six, eight here. We got eight here. I'm going to check a rule on that after the video is done. If the video comes out, we know I made the right rule. Mm -hmm. On the Ray Enigma versus Ray Enigma. But we got eight. Now these two are ones, but they're going to match. Um, they're going to be marketable, so we'll actually take a one away here. And five. Uh, Sienna and Crowley are going to be eight. And Sashimi and Body Counter get a, get a $10 bill. Okay. We got we already had 22, so we got 32. Forty-two. Fifty-two. Fifty-five. And 60 bucks. 60 bucks going into the last show. Not bad. Uh, match wise, we got two twos here. This is a five and a three, so it's a four. This is a three and a three, so it's a four. This is a five and a three, so it's a four. And this is a three and a three, so it's a four. So we got 20. Yes, we're, we are going to definitely use that. We had said it before, but we're going to use the hot card, hot crowd card because we have 20. That's going to make it 23, which 20 would get you plus 4. 23 is going to get you 6. So we're going to take that 6, go to 14. There we go. We now know that with that... Plus six, that's twelve dollars more that we're gonna get at the end of the next round.
Wow, that was a bad shuffle there. Let's do that again. Didn't even get one card together. <laughs> yeah, I think the rule said you can't. I know that was what the... But we'll see. Obviously, like I said, if the video comes out, you know that the rule was you can play Ray Enigma versus Ray Enigma. Hey man, we had Undertaker versus Undertaker at SummerSlam. <laughs> it's the fake Ray Enigma. It's a guy in a mask. We had Sid Cara versus Sid Cara. <laughs> okay. On that note, <laughs> let's get ready. Three bucks for San Antonio. We'll take the hot crown out. We'll take the convention. We're still on the convention weekend. If we don't like what we see, we can always use that card. And let's go. We're locked out. Buffy. Daredevil Damon. C.O.D. D'Angelo. Virgil Garrett. Uh, Insane Gorilla. Mox Ambrosia. Red Graz. Davy Dartford. And Katana. Alright, give me Will Lockdown for four. Jacob Craven comes in. Uh, give me COD D'Angelo for two. There's a pattern going here. Uh, I got some to cook it. Give me Red Grass for three. Uh, give me the Insane Gorilla for three. Right now, everybody matches as far as work rate goes. Uh, give me Virgil Garrett for six. You get six matches with four stars. I mean, that's not a... <laughs> we body count for six. Raynick was back. We got six so far. Uh, give me Katana for more. Oh, it's Katana and Katana. No. Uh, give me Sashimi Politic for five. Give me Daredevil Damon for six. That was actually stupid. He didn't have to match anybody. <laughs> Give me the Celtic Demon for six. The Celtic Demon, if you're from Boston like me. Two more. Give me Davy Dartford. And Adam Barcelona, and that's going to end our round. Did I go crazy stupid just now? Probably. But we're going to have fun. We're, like I said, we're 14th place in our league. We need to go all out. Uh, 
for 14. We know we're going to be, we know minimum we're going to be at 20, which is not a good thing, but I think we're going to get a good number here. Uh, we're going to get some money. Like I said, the work rate, we could have a huge number if, if things work our way. When have they ever? <laughs> Actually, the special announcements were pretty decent for us today. The hot crowd worked perfect. Uh, the synergy bonuses there worked great. It's actually, it might be the first time I bought multiple uh, special announcement cards on a, in a solo league. All right, the last shuffle of the round. Six grays. It's going to happen. I think there, I'm pretty sure there's a question on the thing that says, like, number of unused wrestlers. This could be a record. Here we go. All right, we got four of certain amount, and then uh, two journeymen. We don't want to use the journeymen at all. So we're going to put Sashimi Politic and Virgil Garrett so we can get four more cards. Okay. Who matches what? Um, well, we want. We can put Red Graz and the Insane Gorilla together. That'll get us four more. All right, we'll put Katana and Red Graz. Not sorry, Katana and the the Celtic Demon to get four more. We have five of our cards already, so okay, so all the cards are on in our pack. So let's just we have. Three more matches to make, and we have six. So we'll just make the best matches that we can out of these. Uh, so we'll put D'Angelo and Barcelona together because they match perfectly. Uh, we'll put Will Lockdown and Body Count together because they'll at least match work rate, and then these two will be kind of together. All right. So we got what we wanted. We have all the drivers, or the journeymen, sitting on the bench. We have 12 uh, or 16, yeah, no, 12, I'm okay. You'd think I'm actually playing this live and it's 25 hours into it. <laughs> All right, so there's seven, 12 in this first uh, row. Oh, and also let's give our, our 16, what is it? Oh, we're 14, so 28. Twenty-eight. So we're at thirty-one bucks already. Plus this now twelve here. And we got five. And these two are four, but plus two, so six. So eleven there. And we got three. And nine, so twelve there. So we got thirty thirty-five dollars in matches alone plus the, the twenty-eight. That's not bad. So we'll see what we got after. Uh match wise though, this is the three to three, so it's a four. This is a four to five, so it's a four. This is a three to three, they match it to four. This was the plan all along. It was me all along. There's another four for Red Grass and Insane Gorilla. There's another four for Shishigami Politics and Virgil Garrett. And Katana and the Celtic Demon are five.
So we got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 25. That's going to be a plus 8. So we will be at 22 for the round. And we got 30, 50, 55, 60, 65, and that's going to be it because it's one dollar. <laughs> but 65 will get us 13 more spaces. So we're going to end up with a 35. So as we as the, I do this, as long as that Ray and Egba rule plays in, uh, we scored a 35 uh, with $66 left over. No uh, unused wrestlers, uh, jobbers. We had all six journeymen. So there we go. That was a decent round. I don't know if that 35 is going to hold up. Probably not. There are some much better scores in the previous rounds, you know, but I know it's all up to the rules. Uh, who knows? We'll see. But 35 is a good round for me. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, my friends, I want to thank everyone who uh, watched this video and watched every video throughout the 24 hours. Uh, if you would like to check out the link in the description to uh, the Extra Life page, we are raising money for Boston Children's Hospital. Uh, this is the seventh year we did it. Uh, there is... Uh, the link underneath will show you that. And I want to thank everyone who has viewed all the any of the videos, all of the videos, and anyone who donated. Uh, I hope you all have a great day. I'm going to, at some point, put a thing in my Twitter, games underscore volume, about the, the live battle of History Maker Baseball with Steve Tower. Uh, Till then, hope everyone is well. And we will see you next time. Thank you. Bye now.